This time of year when vegetables are at their peak in local gardens, it's so easy to start thinking out of the typical breakfast box and start thinking about getting a lot of your veggies in during your first meal of the day, breakfast. So today I'm going to show you a wonderful sandwich that's so good for breakfast and it does include an egg. So I've already made my toast. I like to use a really nice kind of crunchy whole grain toast. And I'm going to start by putting something on the toast that's going to help hold the sandwich together. So I've got some uh, some mayo here that I'm just going to spread a little bit on. Sometimes I use mashed avocado. That works really well too. But I didn't happen to have one in my refrigerator today. And just use your favorite spread and put enough on so that it'll really kind of hold the sandwich together. And then I'm going to start building my sandwich. First with some slices of fresh tomatoes that were in my vegetable box this week. And then I'm going to put my egg on top. Now, I've fried the egg, but you could poach an egg. Sometimes I use a really hard poached egg. You could slice up a hard boiled egg. And then on top of that, I'm going to put some greens. I like to put sprouts or shoots and a little bit of, first I guess I'll put my fresh, some fresh basil. You'll be surprised at how delicious this is on your sandwich. Just some nice little sprigs of fresh basil. And then I'm going to use some shoots, sprouts or shoots or some fresh lettuce are wonderful. And then to kind of keep everything in place, I'm going to put some nice fresh red pepper. Another, this is bell pepper, another thing from my vegetable box this week. So I'm going to just cut this sandwich in half so I can show you how beautiful it is when you cut it in half. And if you get it too high, you won't be able to get your mouth around it, but look at that. Vegetables and greens, protein and grains in your breakfast. A great way to start the day. I'm Sue Doden sharing good food for good life 365.